Ayo, mental health check. <laughs> Josie, don't you worry. It's just a phase you're going through. Someday you'll know just what to do. I look like a crackhead. Hey everyone, it's Josie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make this video short and sweet and I just want to like... I got my nails done. So scary. This video is going to be short and sweet and it's just going to recap a lot of the stuff that's just like going on in my head, which is like kind of nothing but also a lot. Here we go. I'm burning a candle right now like I'm just trying to be okay inside, but like I'm really not. This past month is just a lot for me. I don't know why. Like I, I can't explain it. It's like every September I fall into a rut, if that's like the correct word to use. I don't know, every September I just end up getting really, really depressed. And I truly never have the words to explain it. Like I can't really compile why I feel the way I do, but I just do. It's weird. And I feel okay now, um, but the past couple days it was really, really bad. I truly can't explain it. Like so many people have checked up on me and they're like, hey, are you okay? Like, Hannah brought me flowers yesterday. She's like, I know you're going through a lot, but, like, I'm always here if you want to talk. And I was like, I would love to talk, but, like, I don't know what to talk about. Like, I don't know why I feel this way. I just do. I want to, like, tell people how I feel, but I don't know how I feel. The only word that describes it is emptiness, I guess. Not to sound super emo, but it's just, like, I feel like there's just, like, nothing going on in there, you know? Maybe it's the fact that cuffing season is approaching. Like, I truly do not know. It comes in waves, like, I think the fact that I work every single day kind of, like, helps diminish my sadness because I work with kids and, you know, like, kids are always, like, happy-go-lucky and, like, they want to make you laugh and stuff like that, which is good. And that's, today helped because it was Friday and, like, they did a bunch of, like, fun stuff, but the past two days, wake up in the morning. I wouldn't even wake up in the morning. I'd wake up at like 12 or one and I work at like 2.15. And then usually like by the time I got off, like I'd be like, whatever. I'd get home from work and I would try to eat. Um, usually I, I, I've been eating, which I've been good at because sometimes like I just would forget to eat. I've been on top of my schoolwork for the most part because last week I was struggling with that a lot. And then I usually stay up till like 3 a.m. and then it's the same thing over and over again. And then it's just a constant cycle. And a lot of people have been telling me like, oh, like maybe you need something to change in your life, blah, blah, blah. But like my anxiety can't really handle change. If change is coming into my life, it has to be on my own terms. Because if not, like if it's like an outside source, like I'm going to freak the fuck out. I just wanted to update a little bit on how I've been. If anyone cares. Also, I hit 300 subs. <laughs> Which is kind of why I wanted to post this. Because this is like literally the rawest version of myself. Like I'm surprised I put on eyebrows today. Like I've just been struggling a lot with like my mental health. You know? So like I haven't really been talking to anyone. I've kind of just been like to myself. I just wanted to come on here and say that if you are struggling with anything physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, like you're not alone. But everybody copes in their own ways. And if you aren't necessarily like the type of person to seek out help like me like I know at the end of the day because I what what should I call it my September rut I don't know that's why my like the Alexa play wake me up when September ends like that's my jam because I just hate September like it feels like September is 45 days long I'm pretty sure it's 31 but still but yeah if you're like me and you don't necessarily like seeking out help or like you know talking to someone about your problems and stuff like that I'm not saying that you should, like, try to compile how you feel into words because it's really hard to, like, that's what I struggle with, but if someone is willing to, like, call and check up on you or whatever, like, let them, you know, like, have a conversation with them because that honestly changes your mood so much. But that is my update on me. I have no video ideas as of right now. I'm pursuing my TikTok career right now. Changed my app to at Josie Marie Centillion. It's gonna be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. Thank you for 300 subs. 
I love you guys so much. Things are already looking up because October is right around the corner. And we're going to say bye, Felicia, to September. And it's spoopy season. And then it's Thanksgiving. And then it's Christmas. And then it's just lit. Gang shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weird video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.